Okay, folks, um, we're here where I showed you some giant mullein before. And I wanted to show you something. And this is the gathering of the bloom. Now, if you'll notice right here, these little yellow blooms. You see them? Well, these little yellow blooms have all of the healing power of the leaves of the mullein or the root. And I gather these and I keep them separate for migraines because I treat them like pills, I guess you'd say. I have learned just by trial and error that three to four of these little blooms will take a migraine away within 30 minutes. And so I have learned to gather these. Now something that I did when I was here before, and I did this purposefully so that I could show you the benefit of topping your plants. Now, when I was here before showing you the mullein, these were all tall stalks, single stalks. But what I did, I cut them. See, I cut it so that it would have all these other stalks come out. And I did that so that I could show you. You can see right here. I cut that one. And you see all of these little uh, leaves. There's little stalks going to come up from all of it. I did it to this one right there. Now... I did not do it to that one up there because that's much too dangerous for me to be climbing up there. But the the plant, the mullein, just like with the wild lettuce, will put out multiple stalks, especially if you cut it. Now I can show you there's going to be another one come out right there. So I wanted to encourage y'all that if you do have mulling, to be gathering these blooms and keep it separate. And I'm sorry, y'all, I'm, I'm on the highway. Um, this is where it is, and, and that's why I, I'm not going to gather anything from here. I will have plenty of mulling blooms in my other gathering places. But because this is easy access on my way home from work, I wanted to show you. So... Gather these blooms in the evening, and that gives the little nectar-loving bees and flies and wasps a chance to gather the nectar and, and pollinate, okay? So we want to do that. Now, I learned that the hard way, gathering blooms in the morning, uh, discouraged. I was I was there gathering, and then there were bees and and flies and little wasps all over it, and I was disturbing their gathering of the nectar. Now I don't need the nectar. I just need that little bloom right there. You see. And sorry about my, my blue thumb. I sliced my thumb the other night. And so I have a band-aid, but then I put the little blue thing on top of it. So there are you some examples of the mullein. The mullein blooms together. And I encourage you to gather as many as you can. And here's, here's let me get this. And the way that I dry the mullein blooms is just in a brown paper bag. Now, I want to tell you something. It, it is an oddity. There is a little crawly thing that, that inhabits this plant. It's just tiny, 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 and it's a little black crawly thing. Well, when you start gathering these blooms, that little crawly thing's in there. 
Well, what I have learned is if I put the blooms in the bag and fold the bag up real tight and put a binder clip on it, then that will uh, dry the blooms and the little black crawly things will fall down into the bottom of the bag. So, until my next video, have a good day.